Shalom brothers, shalom sisters. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. We're here in uh, the beautiful UK where we're bringing forth the word of the Most High. We got our brothers, sisters together organizing our people. And all praises to the Most High. Come watch, come learn, come listen. Today in this marketplace, you have many nations here. Many nations that I hear walking amongst us, but the 12 tribes of Israel, they are amongst you. Yes, sir. What you're going to find out is that you've all been deceived. The black men and Latin men that went into slavery, those are the biblical Israelites. Those are the children of Israel. Jesus Christ, according to the Bible, is a black man. That's right. He's not Caucasian. We challenge anybody. Prove to us according to the Bible, Jesus Christ is Caucasian. The challenge is open. Many of you go to church, prove it now, this day, that Jesus Christ is a white man. Prove it. That's all we ask. Prove to us this, that those in Israel today are the biblical Jews. Prove it. Because according to the Bible, the Jews would go into slavery on slave ships. The truth matters. Jesus Christ said, give me John 8, 32. Her question is, what does it matter? Let's show you why it matters. John chapter 8, verse 32. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth shall make you free. So what does it matter? Freedom matters. You enslaved a nation of people, destroyed our nationality, took away our mother tongue. And what does it matter? The truth always matters. That's right. That's right. That's right. Read it again. John chapter 8 verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. America was at the pinnacle of the slave trade, followed by Britain. Nobody's going to escape. God's judgment for what you did to his people. No one escapes judgment. You might have thought you got away with destroying his holy people. Nobody escapes. No one escapes. Can I prove that we are God's holy people? Let's test it. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Let's go back to the word of Moses. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. Come on. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 But it shall come to pass If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God So Moses is speaking to the twelve tribes of Israel He says to the Israelites If you will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God To observe to do all his commandments To observe to do all God's commandments And his statutes which I command thee this day. And his statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. What are we about to prove? We are about to prove to you who the 12 tribes of Israel are. Jump down to verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. During the slave trade, you black women, you black men, you Latinos and Native Indians, were your sons and daughters given to another race of people. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Did you try to get your sons and daughters back? Yes, we did. Did we fail? We failed. Come on. And there shall be no might in thine hands. When Moses told us there would be no might in our hand, means no military might, no economic might. Jump down to verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. I want y'all to listen good to what the Bible says. Because you've never heard the Bible. You've never understood the Bible. Read it again. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. Therefore shall you serve your enemies. 
which the Lord shall send against thee. Which the Lord shall send against you. Why did America come against our people? The Lord sent them. Why did England and Britain come against our people? The Lord sent them against us. In hunger. In hunger, you gotta serve your enemies. And in thirst. And in thirst, you gotta serve your enemies. And in nakedness. And clothing for nakedness, you gotta serve your enemies. And in the want of all things. So if you want anything, how to read, how to write, how to bury your children, you have to go to your enemies. Come on. And he, your enemies, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he has destroyed thee. Okay, now let's look at some history right here. Who, these are photographs. What race of people during the 1600s had yokes of iron upon their neck? It was not the Chinese. It wasn't the East Indians. It was the ones you call Kafas. The ones some of you call niggas. The blacks. That's who had yokes of iron on their necks. What are we reading? The Holy Bible. And you've never learned this book. But before destruction comes, you're going to learn God's holy words. Jump down to verse 68. Come on. Verse 68. And the... Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What does Egypt mean? It's an ancient word that means captivity. Bondage. So let's read it again with understanding. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Lord shall bring you into bondage again with ships. How did your race come to England? How did your race go to America? How did our race get to where we are today? Any history majors out there, you, gotta, you don't even have to be a history major to know a little bit of history. How did your ancestor come to England and to the Americas? How? On ships. What kind of ships? Was it a yacht? Was it a cruise liner? Take a look. Show me one with the ships. Pick up the one with the ships. Show me that. Show me that. Yes, hold that up. This is the ships the Bible is talking about. Slave ships. Now ask yourself a question. The Jewish man in Israel, did he go into slavery on ships? The Jewish man in Israel, did he have yokes of iron upon his necks? No. No! What are we proving? Those are not the biblical Jews. We are biblical Jews. Read it one more time. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Come on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You Israelites would not see your homeland again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Once you get off those slave ships, listen good. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy you. When it says no man shall buy you, it means no man shall redeem you. No man shall deliver you. That's why Martin Luther King, he tried to deliver us. He failed. Mark, Malcolm X rose and tried to deliver us. He failed. Marcus Garvey rose and tried to deliver us. He failed. So John the truth. Harriet Tubman, all the great black leaders failed. Why? Because there's only one Savior. The Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's right. Understand, That's right. Right. before destruction comes, every soul out here shall learn the truth. You will learn that the ones you destroy are the Israelites according to the Bible. Whether you call us blacks, native Indians, Hispanics, what Columbus did from 1492 on up was destroy the Israelites. That's who we are. That's who we be. So now, I made a statement. I said Jesus Christ is not Caucasian. I made a statement. I said Jesus Christ is a black man. Which one is truth? Which one is lie? We know. Give me Exodus 23 in verse 2. I see a lot of silence. Now, if y'all have questions, ask the questions. Yeah, who knows? Ask the the so my question I'll, is... I'll ask you a question. Okay, who let me knows? prove this who point first. One second. Is Jesus Christ Caucasian or is he black? After I deal with this, then you can ask, ask questions. Revelation chapter 1. No, no, Exodus 23. Exodus 20, 23 verse 2. Exodus 23 verse 2. Thou shalt follow a multitude. Thou shalt what? Thou shalt not 
follow a multitude to do evil. The, one of the laws of God is you shall not follow a multitude to do evil. So, is this Jesus Christ? Is my question. Is this man Jesus Christ? You have libraries out here. There was a movie on Showtime called The Borgias Family. The Borgias Family hired Leonardo da Vinci first, followed by Michelangelo to paint a Renaissance image of Jesus Christ. Prior to the Renaissance, there was no such thing as a Caucasian man named Jesus Christ. Not, no such thing. So now, maybe it's all rhetoric what I'm saying. Let's see what the Word of God says. Hold that up, hold it, keep it right there. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God... The revelation of Jesus Christ. What does it matter? The truth matters. Jump down to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What we want to do is do a test according to scripture. We want to find out if this gentleman is Jesus Christ or is this a closer description according to the Bible. One more time. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Jesus Christ had white woolly hair. You know the hair black woman? The hair you don't like, you cover up because you follow uh, the beauty status of the Caucasian because you don't like yourself? Your hair, oh very good, oh, oh praise, I didn't see you. That right there, with that young lady, that's wool hair. Woolly hair, really good. I'm glad with that image up there. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his hair was fully white, come on. And his eyes were like a flame of fire. Why does it say his eyes were as a flame of fire? Does anybody read the Bible? Get Genesis 49. Hold on, don't let it go. Give me Genesis. Moses told you what the Messiah would look like. Genesis 49, verse 10. And we go right back to Revelation. Genesis 49. 49. Come on. Bear with me a second. Let me know when you find it, all right? The truth always matters. When people say the truth doesn't matter, there's something wrong. Okay? You got it? Come on. Genesis 49 verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. Moses talked about the coming king. He said his eyes shall be red with wine. Now go to Matthew 11. Because they told you that Christ drunk wine. One of his first miracles was turning water into wine. Matthew 11. Matthew chapter 11, verse 18. 18. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he had a devil. The people said about John who didn't eat or drink wine, he had a devil. But let's see what they said about Christ. The Son of Man. The Son of Man is Jesus Christ. Came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber. They call Christ a wine bibber. So did Jesus Christ drink wine? Yes, he did, but in moderation. Go back to Revelation chapter 1, where you left off about his eyes. His eyes shall be red. To his, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet... And his feet! John looked down at Christ's feet. And his feet like unto fine brass. Fine brass. If anybody knows what brass is, it's a light brown. But let's see if Jesus Christ was a light brown. As if they burned in a furnace. If you take anything, you can take white rice and burn it in a furnace. What colors does it turn out get? Black, black, black. So where in the hell did you get this image from? The Renaissance. And everyone, at least 
70% of the earth worships this under Christianity. And nobody can prove it scripturally yet. Hold this up. This is closer to the biblical description. Now, let's get some more in case you say color's not really important in the Bible. Daniel. Daniel chapter 10. Daniel saw a vision of Jesus Christ, the coming Messiah. Let's see. Daniel chapter 10 verse 5. Then I lift up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphaz. His body also was like the beryl. And Christ had a green garment. And his face as the appearance of lightning. And his face as the appearance of lightning. Does this work on you? Yes. Go ahead. And his face as the appearance of lightning. And his eyes as lamps of fire. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Watch this. And his arms. And his arms. And his feet. And his feet. Like in color. Oh, I thought color wasn't in the Bible. What did it say? Like in color. To what? Polished brass. To polished brass. That means brass burned in a furnace. So where in the hell did you get this image from? And have all, all the world bow down to this? Let me tell you something. In slavery, I'm talking about chattel slavery. Do you know they whipped us and killed us and forced us to worship this image? They destroyed our families and made us worship this image. Give me that in Revelation chapter 13 and verse 7. Listen good. What y'all gonna find out? The ones you make fun of that you call niggers and kafas, that we are the Israelites, according to the Holy Bible. What y'all going to find out is that the missiles are going to be sent to America, Russia, Britain, England, and there will be death and damnation out here. No, that's right. Hey, but before this happens, the Israelites will wake up to who we are, and we shall be delivered. Judgment is on its way. Come on. Revelation chapter 13, verse 7. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. Read it again. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. Including the Spanish. Come on. And to overcome them. And they overcame us. And power was given him over all kindred. Come on. And tongues and nations. Verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. There was laws set in place from the middle of uh, the, uh, the 1600s. With this image under Christianity, it was forced upon all nations. If you didn't worship this image, they killed you. Is that in the Bible? Jump down in the same chapter, verse uh, 13. Verse 13. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. When did fire come from heaven on the earth in the sight of men? During these ages, during these times. You ever heard of Hiroshima and Nagasaki? The atom bomb, it was never seen like that upon the earth in ever. Read. Verse 14, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. And deceiveth them that dwell upon the earth by the means of those miracles. What miracles? Calling fire from heaven. What we call today the atom bomb. It made all nations subject to them. Read. Which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth. Here it comes that they should make an image to the beast. That they should make an image to the beast. That they should make an image to the beast. Which had the wounds by the swords and did live. When Rome fell, it came back in power under the Renaissance. That's what it means, which had a wound by a sword and did live. Read. Verse 15, and he had great, uh, sorry, he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Whose life did they give this man? Because this was a real man named Caesar Borgia. Look it up in your libraries. His was the image Leonardo chose to be the Renaissance Jesus. What does Renaissance mean? Rebirth. Rebirth of what? Rebirth of the Caucasian and power in the earth. So they gave yeah. the image of Jesus Rebirth Christ. Of Caucasian. What they gave the, the name Jesus Christ. 
said this. One more time. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Let's read it one more time. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. He had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Whose life did they give this image? The life of Jesus Christ. They didn't tell you that this was Caesar Bourget. They said this is Jesus Christ. Watch this. That the image of the beast should both speak. How does this image speak? In Christianity, they say, oh, there's going to be a day with the Antichrist count and the statue's going to talk. That's not what it's talking about. This is talking about in your media, in your movies. Mel Gibson just did a famous movie called The Passion, where they look for an actor that looks somewhat similar and he speaks all the words of Jesus. And everybody goes, oh, yes, you know what Jesus said? Yes, that's Jesus Christ. That is not Jesus Christ. Read it again. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. During slavery, whichever of our people did not worship this image, historically, they killed us. Starting from 1492 all up through the 1600s. Open some history books, please. You murdered us for not worshiping this. So now it's become normal. Ask any of our children, who is that? They go, oh, that's Jesus. Where'd you read that from? Where is that in Bible? Show me scriptures that this is Jesus Christ. You can't do it. You cannot do it. The only Christ, according to biblical records, is a black man. That's right. And his people, listen good, his people you enslaved. You destroyed us. You changed our race, our nationality, our identity, our culture. So much we have no culture today. Now, why does Christianity teach us the laws of God are done away with? Because that's what they teach. Give me that Exodus uh, 21 and 10. Is that what I want, brothers? Look at it. I used to ask myself, self, why does Christianity teach us, that I grew up in a Christian church when I was a baby, why do they say the laws of God are done away with? 21, bear with me a second. 21, 16. 21, 16. Yes, listen good. Listen good to the laws of God. This law pertains to slavery. Listen good to the law. Exodus 21, 16. And he that stealeth a man. He that stealeth a man. Were our people stolen? Yes, we were stolen. Go ahead. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him. Were we sold? Yes, we were sold. Go ahead. Or if he be found in his hands? Are we still found in the hands of America, England, Britain? Yes, we're still here in your hands. Read. He shall surely be put to death. What? He shall surely be put to death. No, that can't be in the Bible. What? He shall surely be put to death. This is why, this is why Ronald Reagan set up a Star Wars project around the earth. He said, just in case, something comes from out there we need to be very protected so they got a union with russia and britain to put weapons around this planet why because they know jesus christ is coming what is he coming for deliverance of his people that's right listen good this is not their fairy tale days is over it's time you learn the truth okay from there revelation 13. some of you right now i know what you're thinking but jesus christ was about all love jesus loves everybody the law that we just read about slavery let's see if jesus christ did away with that law revelation 13 9 and 10. revelation chapter 13 verse 9. if any man have an ear let him hear he that leadeth into captivity he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity he himself shall go into captivity he that killeth with the sword he that killeth with the sword because we were killed with the sword must be killed with the sword uh oh uh oh go ahead here is the patience and the faith of the saints so you've never read the bible you've never learned the bible let me tell you something let me tell you one more thing the cia the fbi many of the uh uh, secret services that America has has done much
much evil to much nations. Everyone argues about the Palestinians. What about Palestine? What about Jew uh, uh, what's his name? The president of uh, Israel? Um, Netanyahu. Netanyahu, what about them? Let me show you some more Bible history. Give me the book of Joel. There's a media blackout on the Israelites. Anytime they ask us to come on TV, they say, don't read the Bible. I said, but that's all we have. That's what we stand on. They say, you are forbidden to read the Bible. You will upset too many people because everybody out here has been brainwashed. Read Joel 3 verse 1. Joel chapter 3 verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time... I want everybody to listen good. We're reading something that's about to happen. Read. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Judah and Jerusalem are the blacks and Latinos that you enslaved. And it's going to prove that. Watch this. Read. Verse 2. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. God's plan. God's plan is to gather all your major nations together and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Where is that? In the Middle East. Read. And will plead with them there for my people. God said his purpose for bringing all the nations down there is to plead with your nations for his people. So right now some of you are going, yeah, our Netanyahu, that's the people of God. Yes, poor Israelis, yes, poor Israel. Let's see if they're the people of God. Read. For my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. So the first prophecy God says, let me break it down to what the nations did to my people. Whom they have what? They have scattered among the nations. How was God's people scattered among the nations? It's called the slave trade. The transatlantic slave trade and the sub-Sahara slave trade. Read on. And parted my land. Then the Bible says the nations parted God's land. Who has parted God's land? The Palestinians and the so-called Caucasian Israelis. Read on. And they have cast lots for my people. Watch this. Here comes the proof. It says, and they have cast lots for my people. What does it mean that the nations cast lots for us? Hold it up. Get me this one. Hold this one. Put this one down. I want that one. When the Bible says the nations cast lots for my people, have to shout. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Shout. Ruben. Ruben. Whatever. When the Bible says they have cast lots for God's people, it's talking about on the auction slave blocks. Y'all seen the slave movies? That's what it means when it says they have cast lots for my people. This is history. Read on, brother. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot. And made a boy into a harlot. What does that mean? They made us breeders. They got the biggest blackest slaves to have sex with many women. That's what it means they have made a boy into a home. Read. And sold a girl for wine. And they sold our mothers and our daughters for musket guns and wine. What are we reading? The Bible. Read. That they might drink. Come on. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? Jump down to verse 6. Verse 6. The children also of Judah. The children also of Judah. And the children of Jerusalem. That's the rest of the 12 tribes. Have ye sold unto the Grecians? Have you sold unto the Grecians? Who are the Grecians? The Greeks. The Greeks. The Greeks. The Bible says the children of Judah were sold to the Greeks. So what are we reading? Bible prophecy. You're going to find out that the ones you despise and make fun of, we are the holy people of God. We are the sons and daughters of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Our history is more than Martin Luther King. Our history is Jesus Christ. Our history is Peter, James, and John. Our history is Moses. Now if anyone doubts us, you can tell us us in the Bible. You can get your scriptures and prove that Jesus Christ is Caucasian. Prove we get your Bible. 
you can prove to us that the Israeli Caucasians are the Jews. Bring out your biblical proof. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.